Did yeah. people vomit on this recently? It makes me so happy to have you sitting next to me in that chair. Thank you. You're welcome, man. I appreciate it. Do you like popcorn? I like pop normal popcorn. Uh, this is this is different popcorn. Mm -hmm. I don't know how different it is because there is a shockingly no ingredients in this popcorn, so I don't really know what we're getting ourselves into. I do have the website up though, so I can tell you what little I know about this popcorn. Um, okay. Okay, so we have four popcorn from Pyro Pop. Okay? Did people vomit on this recently? I uh, no, I've cleaned okay. this table. I cleaned this table after every after every filming. No vomit has happened on this in we're pushing a year probably. Okay, so Pyro Pop was recommended to me by a person who watches my videos. So I went to their website and I said, I love popcorn and I'm going to order all the popcorn that they have. So we have red, white, and blue, which is like a, I don't know. It's a spicy three cheese blend with a dash of tomatoey goodness, okay. Salt and vinegar, which is scorch your taste buds and take them to the pub Boots. with this tasty and tangy flavor. Taste buds? Did I say buds? Buds. Taste buds. <laughs> uh, the salt and vinegar is gonna be the last one we're gonna be trying, okay. Um, cheddar dill. A cheddar flavored popcorn with a hint of dill. It's delicious. Never heard oh, of it. Oh, I get that. I know, right? Um, and Kettle Inferno sweet meat heat with a kettle corn inspired flavored with a dash of seasoning. You, you, you know what kettle corn is? You've had kettle mm -hmm. corn before? It's sweet. Yeah. It's got sugary. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Um, I did. I tasted the Inferno kettle, kettle corn before we started filming because I wanted to make sure I didn't obliterate you. We'll see what happens. Um, so this is the order we're going to be going in today, because I think is there, I gl is there gluten in these? I have no idea, because I don't know what ingredients. I just found out I have a gluten intolerance. Well, I, I hope there's no. My gluten. life's worse. This is cheddar dill. Okay, there are no ingredients in here, so I'm assuming it's just cheddar dill and popcorn. And then, oh, hold on, hold on. There's more things I need to tell you. This is all of our popcorn is popped in a chili infused peanut oil. It can and will exa exasperate some allergies or sensitivities. Like what? It doesn't say. Oh, if you think it's a surprise. If you think jalapeno is too spicy, perhaps yep. this product isn't for you. Well, I think an onion is spicy. <laughs> so <laughs> this is true. So we're gonna see how this goes today. Um, all right, all of them sound delicious to me. I cannot fathom a world where I'm, I'm eating not gonna, one of each. Where I cannot enjoy this. We're gonna see how Sam Tabor reacts. Is that cool? Basically. You can do whatever you want, man. There's no like. You have to pound the whole bag. Well, your audience hates me. No, you know, they it, love it, you. If I, if I don't kill myself, they don't like it. You haven't been on the channel in a quite a while, so we'll see how they okay. react. Okay. Cheddar dill. Do you like cheddar and dill? Do you like dill? Do you like pickles? Yes. You do? Mm -hmm. That's good. Is this the hot one? Is this a hot one? No, this is the, we're going, we're step, we're, I okay. think we're stepping our way up. I have no idea. Um, don't put the other one on the table. Okay, you don't have to put it on the table. You can just stick good, your whole hand in the bag. Impression. Dude, I got a dusty one. I'm gonna put it on the table so that way Where's the camera your... can see it. Look at that. Yeah, there it is. It's dusty. It is a dusty peanut. Peanut? <laughs> <laughs> it's a dusty piece of popcorn. Yeah, it's peanut. All right. well, I'm gonna do like this whole handful of it just to see what happens. Um, all right, uh, air tears. Go. Smells good. This might be the best popcorn <clears throat> I've ever had. It's hot. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It went straight to the back of my throat. Are you kidding me? That is hot. For sure. This is so tasty. It is good, but oh my gosh, it's really hot. That you, you really don't taste that heat? Or feel that heat? Okay. Ooh! I need to stop. I need to stop eating this. This is <clears throat> the... This might be the greatest popcorn I've ever had. Oh. I am so excited to see where this is going to take us. That's okay. really high. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Out of a 1 to 10, where are you sitting? Like a 7. You're not sitting at a 7. Yeah, that's really high. Okay, I'm not going to even, I'm not going to give my my 1 to 10. Uh, it's one. My head's sweating. Um, okay, moving on. Uh, red, white, and blue. It's a <clears> three <throat> cheese blend with a hint of tomato. I do not know what cheeses they have used, but there's tomato. Is this hotter? It might be. What do you mean you don't know what cheese? It's blue cheese. Okay. Three cheeses. You've named one. Oh. Um, okay, moving on. They might all be the same heat, but I did read a review on their website, and the salt and vinegar, people said it was way hotter than they thought that, that it was going to be. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Well, I've never had salt and vinegar. <clears throat> I'm, um, I'm recovering. Are you okay? I mean, I'll, I'm about to not be. It looks like this. It looks delicious. Okay, because of the last one, how... Stick your fingers in there and get yours. There you go. 
They all um, smell the same. Yeah, it smells. It smells like popcorn. popcorn. Ready? All right, cheers. Go. I think the first one had a ton of dust on it for me, or something. I agree. This one's not as. There's hot. definitely some blue cheese and some like other cheese. This it's still hot. hot. This oh. one's hotter to me. Well, then the first one that I got was like. This is about as dusty as you can get for a piece of popcorn right here. And was, the first one had a lot of dust for me. Oh, it's the tomato. Okay. I'm like, what is that we that other flavor <clears throat> I'm tasting? It is hot. It's hitting me. It's punching my throat. It's punching you? Mm -hmm. That's good. I like when it punches you. Um. Okay. I'm getting like a slight hint of blue cheese, and I'm definitely getting the tomato powder happening in here. And it's like the same level of heat as I was say the first one, which to me is like a very approachable amount of heat. Like I think it's a cute amount of it heat. It is right there. It is right there. Yeah, back of your throat. Right there. Left. Left? Mine's like straight back. Like I am detecting heat. I'm gonna say that I'm sitting at like a two <clears throat> currently. That's cool. Wait, what are you at now? Like a seven. Okay, good to know. Flavor wise, which one do you like currently? I don't really taste flavor in this. I just taste heat. Really? Yeah. I'm definitely getting a tomato. Tomato is the number one flavor for sure. But and then a little bit of blue cheese. But to me, if something's hot, that's all. It's just hot. That know? is, yes. That is that is something that's like a problem with spicy food where if you can't overcome the heat, then you're not like the other flavors aren't going to show through. So that is concerning. Okay, moving on to the sweet. Kettle Inferno. A sweet and salty meat heat in this delicious treat. Well, um, when I tasted it, I think it, it said meat heat. Meats. Heat? As in, like, there's meat in it. As in, like, M E E T S. Mm -hmm. Are you hip hiccup? Mm hmm. Okay. Um, that's what it looks like. Is this salt like, and vinegar? Which no, no, no. This is Kettle Inferno. Okay. And this is actually, like, I'm not a big kettle fan, per kettle corn person. This is awesome. There's, like, actual granules of sugar on it. And I'm not even necessarily like, a sweet person either. But this is quite tasty, in my opinion. All right. It looks like that. Unapologetically spicy. Yeah. Do they all say that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cheers. Mm. I get the sweet. Mm -hmm. I don't get a lot of the salty. Eh, the smallest amount of salt. Do you get the salt at all? <clears throat> mm -hmm. it, it was sweet. Dude, as soon as I swallow, it's just like my throat is on fire. That's how it happens. That's how it works. Ooh, this is... okay. Still getting a little bit hotter. This, I like this way more than I like normal kettle corn. Kettle corn generally is not my thing. Yeah, because you, like, you like pain. It's like, oh, it's kettle corn, but now I'm hurting. Yeah. Okay. Um, kettle corn is like overly really sweet, and I'm getting a little bit of. Did you drool? A I don't bit know. I don't know what that's from. It's not it's for wet. Me. It's not for me. It's my water bottle, maybe. It might be your water bottle. Um, are you still at like a seven? Yeah. Yeah. This is hot. Is this hotter than the other two? Do you? They're all together. They're all building up slowly. Okay. And good. it sucks. All right. Moving on to the salt and vinegar one. This is probably the one that I'm the most excited about because my I nose is running. This sucks. My nose is running I a hate little this. bit too. Really? Yes. Thanks for coming, man. <laughs> salt and vinegar. <laughs> Salty goodness with a splash of vinegar. Um, do you like salt and vinegar chips? This is like nope. a this is a very you don't. Nope. You're gonna hate this popcorn. Um, you know, that's like a very polarizing. I kind feel of it in my nose. Really? Yes. <laughs> how? I didn't swallow it with my nose. How? How do I feel this? <laughs> Did I snort it? it what me, happened? It makes me so... I don't know what happened, man. I'm not you. I don't know. I wish you could feel what it's like to be me. I would love to feel that. For like five seconds. You just eat something and then you're just like, ooh, and, and you understand. I would love that. Um, all right, it looks the exact same as the kettle corn. You don't like salt and vinegar chips? Nope. Okay, you're... <laughs> I appreciate you, Sam. Is this the hottest one? Are they? Which one's the hot... Like, we, I don't know because there's no list of ingredients on them. So I have no idea, but I did read a review on their website, and the review on the website said that the salt and vinegar one... My coffee's gonna suck. ...was shockingly hot. Your coffee's gonna be fine, man. All right, cheers. Go. Oh, this one sucks. Immediately sucks. I hate it. This is terrible. <laughs> this is the worst. Because it's salt and vinegar? Yep. Yeah, that's terrible. It's so good. So every time I eat salt and vinegar, I forget what it is, and then I eat it, and I'm like, oh yeah, this brings back traumatic experiences from when I was eight years old. <laughs> okay. Um, if you are not Sam Tabor and you enjoy salt and vinegar chips, <clears throat> and you're currently and you're constantly looking for like the most salty and vinegary uh, version, 
Um, you are gonna have a winner here. I'm a person who thoroughly enjoys salt and vinegar chips, and this is a very potent version of yeah, this. Yep. And so I absolutely love it. Um, which one do you think is the hottest out of all of them? The first one. The th the first but I think one? it's because I I just spit. I think it's because I didn't have anything, mm -hmm. and then I ate that. Gotcha. I just ate a banana on the way here. And that's, then I ate that. That's smart, actually. You want to put some something in your. Well, stomach. the difference between heat between a banana, and that is a lot. I've made spicy banana spicy before. Um, okay. Bananas are kind of spicy. I thoroughly enjoyed all of these. I think that they're extremely well done. Um, I do think that they are. Uh, so, the reason I wanted to have Sam on here is I wanted to have like kind of opposite reactions, so that way, hopefully, you, the viewer, will be able to understand exactly where the heat and flavor profiles of these things lie. Um, the flavor of these they're are they're all hot. The flavor profile of these I mean, are extremely literal to what the packaging reads. I think they're extremely <clears> well done, very good. Um, chili head level, I think they're extremely approachable. Like we're talking about, like a one out of ten in heat. Um, if you're not familiar with heat, you might be able to. You can lean towards Sam Tabor's reaction to a lot of them. You might think that they're a little bit spicy. Yep, they are hot. I mean, they are spicy. That's a spicy product. It's called Pyro Pop. It's hot. Like, no getting around that. It is a hot product. Um, my two favorites, for sure, are the cheddar and dill and the salt and vinegar. Absolutely, 100%. This is probably the probably the best kettle corn I've ever had. I'm not a fan of kettle corn, but this is the best version of it I've ever had. And the red, white, and blue um, was great, because they're all good, but a lot of tomato, got a little bit of blue cheese. Don't know what the other two flavors were. Cheddar. White cheddar and, and freaking Parmesan or something like that. I have no idea. Anyways. In the description below is we linked Sam Tabor's uh, everything. He makes great content. There's a hole in my throat right now. Go check out Sam. He's an awesome dude. Hope you enjoyed. See you guys next. Did you fart? Nope. Yeah, everyone's, you know how people will say that. <laughs> hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.